it's Dusty Martin with Platinum Living Realty dropping in to give you your monthly market update for the city of Phoenix. It's currently June 2nd, 2022, so buckle up, let's go. All right, so let's just jump right into it. There is a lot of talk of us going into a buyer's market or the market crashing. So I'm gonna spend today clearing up a few of those misconceptions. And we're gonna start with where our active listings are at. Our active listings in the city of Phoenix are up a whopping 78.7% over this time last year. However, when you have almost no listings and you add a bunch, it moves the percentage quite a bit. So we are still far under where we should be to have an even stable market. For example, as a whole in Maricopa County, we should have 25 to 30,000 active listings to get us into an even or stable market. Instead, we're at like 7,200 as of this morning. We would need three times as much to get us anywhere even to an even stable market, let alone even starting to approach a buyer's market. So keep that in mind. So yes, our active listings are way up. Our sold listings are down a smidge at 14.1% over this time last year. Again, when you don't have a whole lot and you add a little bit to it, it can kind of tweak that a little bit. And so we want to actually, I want you to wait till the end. And when we look at our months of supply by price point, our supply and demand, that's what's going to determine where we actually are in our market. So our median price per square foot is up over 26% over this time last year. Yeah, that's a lot. Average stable appreciation is somewhere between two and 4%. And we have been for several years running way ahead of that. Um, this year, the year prior and the year before that, we've been seeing 15, 18, 30, 60% appreciation year over year the last few years. So we're still at 26.4% over this time last year, currently sitting at a median price per square foot of about $299 in the city of Phoenix. But our months of supply and like brace yourself, this is again, another one of those percentages that is scary is up over 108% over this time last year. But when you go from two weeks of inventory to four weeks of inventory, yeah, you doubled your inventory, but you still don't have hardly anything. So keep that in mind. Anything under four months worth of supply is a seller's market. And we're only at 1.04. So we're literally at four weeks worth of inventory when last year we had two. That's not saying a lot. Right. And then our median days on market has not changed one bit over this time last year. Our median days on market is exactly where it was this time last year. And we're currently sitting at 16 days on market. An even stable market would show like 90 days on market. So we're still seeing a ton of cash coming into Phoenix um, and really well-qualified buyers who are ready to pounce. So 16 median days on market, if your home is priced appropriately and marketed appropriately, that is lightning fast considering it takes about 30 days just to close a loan. So the only way to get our days on market that low is to see an obscene amount of cash still pouring into the valley. So then let's jump over to our um, supply and demand by price range. Now, if you're a buyer, listen up. Yes, we've got more inventory than we had. Is it enough to make a big difference for you? Probably not. So let's break it down. Like I said, overall for the city of Phoenix, all price ranges, we were at just over one month worth of supply. From zero to $100,000, we're at 1.13 not even five weeks. Then we look at the $100 to $200,000 price range. We're at three weeks worth of inventory, less than a month. Then we look at the $200 to $300,000 price range. We're at 0.92, again, just under four weeks worth of supply. Then we look at the $300 to $500,000 price range. This is where our bread and butter in Phoenix tends to be. We're at 0.84, so just over three weeks worth of inventory, but less than four. Then we look at the $500 to $700,000 price range. We are at just over one month worth of inventory. And then the um, 700 to a million, we're at 
right about five weeks worth of inventory in the city of Phoenix. So even in the higher end borderline luxury, we're still way in a seller's market. And then we look at the one to $3 million price range and we're at right about two months worth of inventory well inside a seller's market. Although you might see like maybe two to four offers on a house as opposed to 15. So keep that in mind. You still have some competition though. That's still a pretty hot seller's market. And then we get to the $3 million and over price range. And we're not in a seller's market anymore. We're close to it, but we're not there. We're at 4.67 months of supply, just over four and a half months. Remember it's four months or less is a seller's market. So we're actually, it's not a totally even stable market and it's approaching a seller's market. But even with active listings being up and months of supply being double, we are still less inventory in the $3 million price range and over than we were this time last year. Last year, we had five months worth of inventory. We were very close to an even stable market for those over $3 million last year in the city of Phoenix. Now we're closer to a seller's market than we were last year. So keep that in mind. If you're wondering what your home might sell for in today's market or what to expect in your part of the Valley, if you're trying to buy a home, go ahead and give me a call at 480-717-9405 or visit my website at dustymartinrealtor.com.